This is a Prince George's County Public Schools news break. A company who I'm sure cheated as, as a student bought the URL kickyoutube.com. And so that means that when you, go, when you find a video on YouTube, you know, it has a long URL. Going directly to YouTube videos was just one of the technology tricks up the sleeve of Tony Vincent, the keynote speaker at the 13th annual Powering Up with Technology conference. 13, in fact, turned out to be a lucky number for the expo organizers, who boasted more vendors, 25, and more attendees, 550, than any of the previous conferences. Open to educators from throughout the Washington area, Powering Up, held this year at Henry Wise High School, always has the same goal. What I'm hoping that everyone will walk away with this from this expo today is that they'll have a great sense in terms of what technology can do as far as an instructional tool and also will walk away with many activities and ideas that they can immediately implement and really make an impact on our student, student learning. As the tech-hungry attendees visited booths displaying the latest programmatic software and downloads, the challenge was to find those good ideas relevant to each educator's situation. My job is to present some possibilities. Yours is to, if you can make a connection to what you teach or what you do and take a couple of these tools with you, you're going to be doing great. I came here to learn more about universal design for learning, about accommodations through technology for our special ed populations. In today's environment, teachers are faced with having to know their kids, how they've learned over time, be able to individualize instruction based on the needs of their assessment. What SchoolNet does is we simplify that. We allow teachers to quickly gain immediate access to resources, identify where their students are performing, and based on the curricular framework and our alignment to that framework, quickly allow them to determine what lesson plans they're going to use and how to infuse 21st century skills in the process. The highlight of the day-long expo was Tony Vincent's tips on the latest ways to use the internet. There was humorous advice like ways for students to lengthen their essays with creative period placement. Today I'm going to show you how to make your school paper longer. And for this demonstration you will need an already written paper and we're going to see what we can do with that. So in your open office or your Microsoft Word, go to edit, find and replace. Then in the search field, put a period, then replace with another period, highlight it, go to font down below, and then uh, make it a 14 size font, then replace all. And this will replace all your smaller font periods with a larger size. And as you can see, we've turned a six page paper into a healthy seven page paper. And how to shorten lengthy URLs. To use the shorter URL, highlight and copy it. Then you can paste the URL into a new browser window. When you go to that address, notice it redirects you to the longer web address. You can paste this shorter URL into an email, onto documents, or write it on the chalkboard for students to type in. Tiny URL can make long URLs a thing of the past. Now available for those that actually prefer long URLs, there's hugeurl.com. But there was also practical information for educators, like how to rein in too many Google offerings. Spending time searching Google for educational resources can be draining. Often the best websites are buried in advertisements, useless blog links, and link farms. When a site appears at the top of Google's results, it only means that a page has a high page rank. There's no guarantee that real people recommend those sites. You can find relief from exhausting Google results by searching delicious.com. Delicious is an online and social bookmarking site. Thousands of people, many of whom are educators, add their favorite websites to Delicious. That means when you search using Delicious, you're searching through sites that people like so much, they bookmark them. Here's and how, how a wiki, collection. as in Wikipedia, gets started and why it is so named. Well, it's actually named after the shuttles in Hawaii called the Wiki Wikis. They, it means quick in Hawaiian, 
and they go from place to place. So in 1994, when Ward Cunningham, the inventor of the wiki, came up with this way to make a quick website, he saw the wiki wiki and he named what he was doing the wiki wiki web, and now that's shortened to, to wiki. But uh, it's, the, it's the shuttle bus. So a wiki is a convenient way to make a website. As usual, Powering Up and Tony got rave reviews. And naturally, they were mostly on the blogosphere. Adam from Prince George's County said, I'm at the Powering Up with Technology Conference again, and it's awesome as usual. While Laura from Hartford County remarked that Tony Vincent was different from other keynotes I've heard recently. His information was fresh, relevant, fun, inspiring, and educational all at the same time. Congratulations to all the Powering Up organizers who once again showed off the latest technology and guaranteed that it would be user-friendly. For channels 96 and 38, this is Dave Zarin reporting.